Welcome back to the farm, everybody. Hoppy here. I keep calling myself so hobby. You gotta kind of excuse that. I am a very hobby person. But I went by so hobby for quite a long time, and recently I just kind of went to hobby. I mean, I still am so hobby, but <clears throat> now I'm just hobby. It seems better. Short, sweet, to the point. But we're back. Um, as you can see, started back everybody up, and we are just a cruising along. Still got over half of the field to harvest, but it's going. It's going. Should start getting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say about half the field to go. It's not bad. I think what I'm going to do is catch a ride with him over to the biogas plant. <clears throat> and as long as, you know, nobody gets stuck or drives in the freaking windmills. Five o'clock in the morning and you're drinking. Well, I don't know what happened there. Game like... Oh, okay, we're back. Game like froze on me. It's quite strange. It's quite strange. What? Let's make sure that he can just drive across the corn. My gosh. I mean, I'm not much better. I drove across the two, but come on. It's my corn. You're just the hired help. Jerks. Taking it out of your pay. So the reason why I'm catching a ride down here is I want to see the, the fill level on the bunker silo, whatever you want to call it. I'll call them fermentation bunkers, bunkers, silos, lots of things. Uh, on this one it's just BGA1. I want to see our fill level. Probably should turn the help back on to see the fill level. Can't see it otherwise. Oh, we're at 14%. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. But my my plan this episode Oh, excuse me. Is to get sixteen harvested. Um Oh, just yeah, push my trailer there, dude. Get sixteen harvested. Um, and get it planted, seeded, uh, seeded, cultivated, fertilized, all of that good stuff. So then, we can do it one more time, and that should be the last time we have to do 16, and we'll buy, hopefully 19 and 20, do those ones once each, and that should give us enough to buy 21. But I want to buy the bigger cultivator and seeder and a tractor to run them both. So then, it just goes so much faster, it doesn't take two and a half hours to do the fields. Because that's, I mean, you know, realistic, I guess, but come on, they're so tiny. They're so small. And just heartbreaking to use. Alright, so we're going to come to this guy. Ooh, I don't want to open up for some anymore. And we're just going to have him start going up and down and set him around in the circle. There should be less stuff for these guys to run into, I hope. We can hope, right? And we'll see how they do. Oh, little guy's back, and we're on to the second trailer. Yay! I'm very tempted to hook up that third trailer to the back here. <clears throat> and then grab the cultivator and start cultivating the field. Except for the, the harvester sitting and waiting part. It's going to be the only bad part about it. This harvester is just going to stop and it's going to sit there and it's going to be like, Come on dude, where you at? Come back in time soon. Got a lot of work to do, man. That's the only 
downside I could see about it. But we would at least start on the field. Hmm. Oh, the decisions. The decisions. Oh, what a world. What a world. I think we'll let him keep going until they get the field on. And then we'll drive the harvester, cultivate, uh, cultivator, the harvester, the combine, forage harvester, whatever you'd like to call it, down to the biogas and use that to smooth it all out and flatten it down there. While these guys are planting and cultivating the field again. Because we had said last episode that we didn't have enough horsepower on these guys to pull this, right? 180. And what do we have in our garage? 160. Oh, no, I don't want to sell that. Oh, that was close. Yeah, 160 and 143. The blue guy may be able to pull it. It's going to be a iffy one. I just don't have the money for it. My loan is maxed out. Which is sad. We'll slowly start paying it back as we go. Um, depending on how much money we have left over after this go around, uh, harvest and everything. In the seeding and the fertilizing, we may pay back 10000 on the loan just so we're not owing, you know, $200,000 because that's a big ouchie. Isa big ouchie. And. Even the freaking harvester dude is starting to drive like he's drunk. I'm just gonna start here in the fire of care. <laughs> it's just kind of annoying. But, what can you do? I'm just sitting here being the overlord at the moment, watching these guys work really hard. Ooh. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull three of these trailers up the hill either. There's that as well. These things are loaded. Yep, and you're full. I could hook two trailers up behind the forage harvesters. I think this guy's got the hitch for it. All the way for me at mine. Yeah, they got the trailer hitch for it. I mean, I could hook up trailers behind it and then I have to drive, but where do you think you're going? Really, dude? Seriously? Let's just block off the freaking harvester. It's really gonna get to working with you right there, ain't it? Come on. Combine is telling me to stop. Yeah, I was telling you to stop in your freaking jack wagon. Come on. Go. Go! You gotta be kidding me. Come on, dude. The combine wants you over next to it. Drive next to combine. There we go. Now you're getting it. Here we go. Yeah, see, he was struggling getting up that hill with just two trailers. Don't think he would make it with three. I don't, I don't. It'd be nice, because then we could start getting to work on the field. You know what I think? I think after he fills up and drives down and comes back, um, this little single tractor, or tipper, uh, we'll hook it up to the back of the big guy, and, or to the front. Uh, I'm trying to think the best way to do it. The front is always easier because you just push back. But we'll hook it up and see if he can actually get up the hill with three of them full. If he can, we will start working on the field, which will be nice. We can help. And we're almost down here again. Ooh, they're getting so dirty. Dirty, dirty boys. Dirty mouth, clean it up with orbits. Oh, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> it popped in my head. Couldn't help. It. Do they still make those commercials anymore? 
I mean, I really don't watch very much TV, so. I mean, for five years we didn't have TV, we had Netflix. Um, yeah, that was it, Netflix. We just recently got Satellite. Um, and Internet Bundle combined. It's cheaper than what we were paying for just Internet. So it worked out. And our Internet company was being jerks. We went camping in June, and we were gone for four days. And during those four days, we had used like 50 megs of data. And we're like, we weren't even here for it. They're like, well, it was still used. Do you have your router locked? And we're like, yeah, it's locked with like this freaking 30 character long password mixed up with numbers and letters. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's like F275. 77794GQH. I mean, it was like retarded. And they're like, well, there's nothing we can do about it. And you're a high usage customer. You're almost over your allotted amount per month. If you go over again, we're going to have to bump your plan up for the third time. And it's going to be $120 a month. I was like, you're kidding me, right? I mean, it was just so stupid. So we started shop shopping around, slopping around, we started shopping around for new internet company, and we went with what we went with. It's not the fastest internet in the world, but it does the job. Lets us watch stuff, lets us upload stuff, though it takes me like 12 hours. No, it took me 15 hours to upload four videos. It took a long time. But. I just do it overnight. And that works for me. And then we've got the satellite with the DVR and everything so we can record shows. Nice for my husband because he works night weekends so he misses a lot of the shows that come on like Sunday night and stuff. Uh, he's not all into Walking Dead anymore so I'm like yes I can watch it on Sundays and I don't have to worry about you wanting to watch it too. So, excited for October for that to come out. And, I mean, August is halfway done, so we're almost to Farm Sims 17. I've seen some of the footage from the GamesCon that just happened. It looks pretty good. Um, I've been watching their website and the dev blogs they've been posting and everything. and The graphics look a lot like this one. But I'm fine with that. I don't mind the graphics on this. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have some, you know, pretty awesome stuff. They're going to give us sunflowers, and they're going to give us radishes and soybeans. The radishes aren't harvestable. You, um, once they, like, sprout, you cultivate them back into the field. Um, sorry if you hear me moving around a lot. I'm just, like, swiveling in my chair, like, la da 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 Um... But you cultivate it back into the field as fertilizer, and you get 30% bonus um, to your next yield harvest on the field, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to get Massey Ferguson stuff, which we really don't have a lot of Massey Ferguson stuff around here. It's mostly Case and, oh, excuse me, and New Holland. Well, what's going on here? Combine is telling me to stop Combine. Are you drunk? I guess so. I'm just gonna take a break right here. Not, you know, the right spot there, buddy. There, buckaroo! Alright, so we are going to see how he does with three tracker or three tippers in a minute. Alright, so we'll pull forward here. And then I'm gonna pull you up here. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Look back up. You. Stop. In the name of the. Sorry. <laughs> I can't help it.
Oh, no, that really won't work, will it? Disconnect you. Get you off the field. Hold on there, Harvester. Don't get your panties in a twist. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Back up and hook onto you. I drove that dude off the field, did I? Yeah, I did. Way to go, Hoppy. <laughs> Way to go. I need him. Come on. Gotta go hook up these trailers. The steppers. They're not easy to hook up, so we gotta bump them. I think I might be a little off too far out on him. Boop. Bumped too soon. Boop. 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 Can I hook you up? You do it. Thanks. Let's hook up, dude. Moan. Oh my gosh. Dude, and the harvester's like, come on, what are you doing there? Buddy. Alright. Alright, you should clear it now. So now let's go this way, back around. See, even to do it this way, I have trouble hooking the guys up. Alright. Ah, there we go. Drive course. Let's get you off the field. Let's see how he does. Besides, you know, the really long train. Get that down and closed out. Oof. Here we go. Hop you backing up in three, two. <laughs> it shouldn't be that bad. I don't have a trailer on right now. Come on. We can do it. And we're hooked up. So I'll have to keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't catch up to the harvester. But get it started and get it cultivated. Perch. And away we go. Hire the worker. Oh, hold on, fire the worker. Five miles per hour. We're not gonna go anywhere fast with that rate, are we? Kick back up our cruise control. There we go. Fire she blows. Yeah. Half the speed which we could go. Why are we filling up that one and not this front one? Hmm. Curious side curious side. You're gonna make it up the hill or you're cruising along. Waiting for a new waypoint. So we may be able to get this field harvested before we end the episode. We're about halfway through it now. <clears throat> so it looks like we should be able to. Not too much longer to go. It's nice that we own our own forage harvester. Not exactly the one I was hoping for, but it'll do. It'll do, pick. It'll do. That way we've at least, you know, own our own. <laughs> and not having to rent one from the shop. Really didn't want to have to do that, but with the issues we were having at first, it was the only way to do it. Got it done. Didn't take 12 episodes to harvest, or me just cutting out and coming back when it was all done. So, away we go. And we're over halfway full with three trailers. It's on its second pass. Yeah, look how small that is. This guy runs, what's, how it's the what? Three meters, and this one's eight. So almost three times the size of what we're doing now. And I actually I would say, you know, three times the size because we're driving over half of what we've already done for some reason. I can't complain, at least, you know, they're doing better than I am. 
That would be like six passes for me driving. <laughs> Fifty nine percent full. So I think after we go and dump this guy off, we come back, it should just be the one more load full. It's not gonna fill up all three tippers, I think. But it should just be that. And then it'll be good to go. Are we going to stop and fill up the back one? Yeah, we're going to stop and fill up the back one. Come on, screech forward. And then we're going to fill up the front one. Please. Waiting, please. That one should be almost full. Almost. Oh, we've got like a couple percent in the front. Yay, we're gonna fill the front one now. So we're at seventy percent full, thirty percent to go. Yeah, we're gonna have like one tipper load to take down there when this is all said and done. Maybe two. I don't think it's gonna be that many. And then we'll get them all washed up and then start seeding the field. Ooh, fun. And I'll go down and squish everything. 78% full! Oh, we're 35% full on the tipper itself. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get all the way through because there's two more passes here. Eh, oh well. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes, when she comes, she'll be coming around the mountain. I really need to stop. My headache's starting to go away, so I'm just like, woo, finally. Ooh, slide down the hill. So I'm getting a little silly, because I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better. Now my headache for me. Yeah, we're quite literally just gonna have like a pass and a half, if that, to do. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. We're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, I'm so tempted to just say, ah, we're good after it, you know, after it fills up. But that could be, you know fair chunk of chains that we're just like nah, about I don't want to do that it would be bad 97% full <clears throat> yeah we'll come back and finish it off just cause I don't want to like waste all that if it can make it up the hill that is we'll find out here in a second if not at least we got a, a wee bit of cultivate done I hear Oh, excuse me. My dinner's trying to come back and bite me. So if we can't finish off this... The harvest this episode, I will do it off screen and come back and catch up with you guys after it's all said and done because we're full. And we've got about eight minutes left in the episode. And then, it should be enough to finish it off. But who knows, it depends on how long it takes this guy to make it up the hill. If he'll make it, even make it up the hill. The moment of truth. Is upon us. Will. He. Make it. Does he have enough strength to make it up the hill? Oh man, are we gonna stall? Are we gonna stall? Three... Oh, three miles per hour, three miles per hour, you can do it!
Look at him go. This trooper at two miles per hour. Oh man. Oh man. Come on. Two miles per hour. You're not stalled out yet. Almost. Almost. The worst is over. We're picking up speed. Slowly. Four. Five. Yeah, yeah. Made it up the hill. Oh god, we're gonna get in an exit. Stop! See, look at that hired helper. He didn't like go all crazy and try to run me off the road or anything. It was a good hired helper. Why can't all the other ones be that way? So, having a toss up here, do we want to be able to seed and cultivate the field faster? Do we want to be able to sell off the silage faster? I don't know what to do. Because the little front loader, ooh, ooh, getting kind of wiggly there, dude. The little front loader on this, for, or for this, isn't bad. It just. 1,850 a scoop. It takes a long time. I, uh, set it up the other night to just go through and sell off all the silage and set up the course and everything. And I think I watched, um, three Walking Dead episodes before it finished it all off. So three hours before it finished. It was quite a wait. And here goes all the zippers. And let him drive back and I'll go check our fill level over here. How are we doing? 30%? Not bad. It's really not bad. We'll get, you know, I think we'll end up getting like 31% or 32% off the, just this one field here. But it's a very, it's a pretty big field. I mean, okay, well, you know, compared to like 15, 17, 18, 11, 21, 13, okay, it's not really that big of a deal. Compared to 6 and 5 it is, okay? And it's like half the size of 20. Or double the size of 20, oh my word. So, <laughs> it's, it's a decent sized field. I wouldn't say it's small, but it's not, you know, big. It's, it's just right. Oh man, we don't even have any anything in the trailers and it's like, ooh, it's slow down a little bit going up to who. So I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop the driver. And I'll just take over for now and finish off the harvest, drive down and empty it out. Lots of work for me. Oop, 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 getting a little wiggly. Oh, again. Oh, almost at it. Really, we're gonna start off with the center trailer. Alright, whatever. Are we gonna go, or are we just gonna sit here? Can we move, please? I feel like I'm not much better than the hired workers. Pissing off the combine driver. I'm making him angry. Hulk smash. Ah, she gotta be far away from this guy. Okay. Up we go. Almost up the hill. Almost there. Why'd we stop? Did I get too close again, buddy? Oop, I'm definitely close now. I reach out and touch you. Oh, you can shoot for... <laughs> Never mind. 
Bad hoppy, bad hoppy. Drive course, there we go. Look at him driving. Fold up the header. Put away the pipe. Yeah, I was gonna drive down and use this to smush everything, but I will use the other guy because he's got all the the stuff on him. Come dive down here. And stuck you in front of the washer. So we can wash everything up, make sure it's pretty for the night. This guy's just a working away. You're about um a fourth of the way down with the field. So we're just getting ready to stop the driver. And then we'll just use him to drive back and forth over everything. Smush it all down. Ooh, cut some air there. 31%, I called it. Alrighty. Let me get this out of my way. 21% compacted. We got some compacted. I've almost got enough for my nifty compacting tool, which I may buy first when we sell this off, just cause... Oh man. It is... It's not really too expensive. I think it's like 24000 but it, it, I don't have to drive over it like eight times to do this. Oh, it's not even eight times. I, I could drive like to here and it would all be compacted. It compacts it pretty fast. It makes it nice. I would rent it and drive it down here, but its top speed is 6 miles per hour. And it would just take so long to drive down here. But, looks like we have ran out of time for this episode. So I will keep smushing this down, and then I will catch up with you guys later.